no one could figure out what a math lab was. Uh, isn't a laboratory have Erlenmeyer flasks and things? Where are the flasks? Where's the equipment in, a, in mathematics? My contention is that this lab uh, follows the scientific method. Students take many courses. Most of them have a set syllabus. It's organized. It goes from a beginning through definitions and theorems to an end. They're asked to solve problems which are well posed and have, a, have an expected answer. This course is completely different because here the questions are not well posed. They have to decide what part of this question they're going to focus on. They have to decide where the exciting mathematics is going to be. It's actually very hard to get beyond the smooth outer shell of a problem. We rarely give ourselves a specific target and aim only at that target. It's very easy just to, you know, write down the statement of the problem and some equations that you know which are relevant, and then just sit and stare at them for a while and think, what next? We look at a general area and try to find the weak points, find the points that we can make progress in. There's a skill to turning something over in your head until you find the point of entry, and I think that's one of the things that the class is designed to teach. Here, we go through the scientific process. We look at some mathematical situation. We frame a hypothesis. Hypothesis might be called a conjecture in mathematics. And then we test the hypothesis. We test it by doing numerical experiments and so on. But the ultimate uh, verification of a hypothesis is a proof. So this course is unique in that it doesn't have any syllabus, per se. There's no body of material that I hope students will come away with. I hope they come away with an experience. I want them to have some sense of the frustration and the challenge and the excitement of doing mathematical research. I know a lot of people are terrified of doing it. You know, it's pretty much original research for most of these problems. Like, you came up with this cool thing and you get to tell this whole group of interested people, ostensibly interested people, sort of what you did. The enrollment of the class is 27, so everything in the class is threes, and we each get three groups of three undergrads, each of whom work on three projects over the course of the term. They will open the box, uh, do some experiments, maybe do some computer simulations, think about the question, um, maybe they'll do some literature search. After a few weeks, they have enough material, they start to write a paper. And then I ask them to come into my office here with their advisor, and tell me what they've discovered, briefly, a 10-minute presentation of what they've discovered. And I have their first draft in front of me. I've read it. So it gives me an opportunity and their advisor an opportunity to comment on the mathematics, make suggestions for directions they might go next, and comment on the writing, comment on the presentation. It's a small opportunity to make mid-course correction. Those debriefings, I think, are very valuable for a number of reasons. Being able to give feedback on the writing in person is valuable because when you give in-person feedback, then you can emphasize what's most important. Then they give a presentation to the entire class, a lecture of the sort that you would see in a mathematical conference. Each of these projects is a three-week process for them in which they're supposed to learn about a new problem that's probably completely unfamiliar to them, uh, which involves learning some new math, and then try and say something about the problem, that is, create something new. Three weeks is a very short time to go about that process. Most mathematicians take at least a semester, and they know something about the problem beforehand, but sometimes many years. You're working on not only your analytic skills, but your presentation, you know, communication skills. Um, how do you connect with your audience? How do you explain a concept, perhaps, that some of our peers are not familiar with? What makes a good problem for this class? The best thing about a project is if it can go off in different directions. That's the way mathematical research works. Take a prime number, like 5 or 7, and Look at its reciprocal. 1 over 3, 1 over 5, if you expand it out as a decimal, uh, you're likely to notice some patterns. A fraction has a repeating decimal expansion. 1 over 3 is 0.333 repeating. The decimal expansion of 1 11th is 0 0.090909. And sometimes you'll get longer repeating strings of numbers.
How many digits are there before the decimal expansion repeats itself? Can you make any conjectures about that string of repeating numbers? If I give you a random prime, maybe a prime with 20 digits in it, a big prime, some random prime, what's the likelihood that the decimal expansion of its reciprocal will have period exactly p minus 1? And so the students take this open-ended question in whatever direction seems like it's likely to be fruitful to them. This is much closer to the experience of doing research in mathematics than anything they see in a standard class. In this course in particular, the students come from many different backgrounds with many different levels of preparation. Some teams will be very sophisticated, know a lot of higher mathematics, and apply those tools to understand the math that they see, the, the regularities that they see in these projects. Some teams will take the same project, but they won't have as much background. They may have a lot of computational skills, and they'll do an extensive computer simulation and learn from that. Some teams won't be strong in either dimension, and they'll find their own set of things to study in these projects. It's quite remarkable to look at what different student teams do to the same project and see the diversity of results that come out. It's very encouraging, somehow, that students of, of many different levels and many different interests will find uh, interesting and exciting things in these projects. Taking projects in your own direction is something that we definitely learned how to do. I feel like there's infinite many directions you can go, but we have to know like what's a good ending point for each of them. How to kind of like just be confident in like whatever direction we're going is another thing that we learned. So each semester, this class is staffed with a professor, a postdoc, and a graduate student. This combination seems to work very well. Their role in this is to help students overcome obstacles that they might have help them understand what mathematical research is about, help them overcome the frustrations that go along with this, and reassure them that the instructor has had the same experience himself, that there can be weeks that go by when no visible progress happens. It's important not to point the students too much in one direction, because the whole point of the course is for students to discover mathematics on their own. In meeting with these groups of students, I think of it as like meeting with a graduate student. I sit and think as clearly as I can about the problem that they're working on. I'm honest about it. I don't uh, pretend to be dumber than I am. I do what I can to help them. So being sincere about helping them to make progress is part of the game. There's a very subtle thing that the people leading the course have to do. They have to be both encouraging and avoid blind alleys, but also let the students find their own way. I would love to see this style of mathematics subject flourish and grow across the country because I think that it fills a need. So often our students see mathematics as something which is cut and dried and it seems like it was all done long ago. And this is the one course where our students see mathematics as a living thing that they can contribute to and they really understand how mathematics evolves. This is a great class. And it's so much fun watching the students learn and improve and play with the math and present it to each other. It's a great class. It's my favorite course to teach. You get to engage with students really closely. You get to know them well and see them change and grow in the course of the semester. I hope that they take away something um, of the flavor of doing math research. Once you feel you've made a worthwhile insight. You, you become more dedicated and it's like, this is what I do now. This course is unlike any other course that these students have ever seen uh, because it's so, uh, the, the goals are so experiential. Uh, and so uh, one student said, this course is kind of strange, but it comes together and it works. <laughs>